One person is feared dead and several others injured when a fuel tanker hit a motorcycle this morning on the Kara Bridge on the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. The tanker is reported to have hit the motorcycle, which was conveying a woman taking her child to school, killing the baby instantly and leaving the mother injured. Well, following the hit, the driver plunged into the river. Eyewitnesses blame the mishap on a loss of control by the trailer driver. Men of the Federal Road Safety Corps are on ground to decongest the gridlock that results from the accident. But according to the FRC, the dead and injured persons have been taken away from the scene of the accident. So at about 08 25 hours this morning, uh, this vehicle had a tire burst. And in the process, that is the trailer, in the process, ran over an, an Okada, a commercial motor cycle, and then the trailer head fell into the river there. They have, there and then, they fell along. The Okada rider too fell along with them. Then the woman the Okada was carrying had fracture and lost his child in the process. My advice to road users is to abide by traffic regulations. Like this one was due to mechanical fault, which has been one of the causes of road traffic crashes all along. So if people will abide by traffic regulations, drive carefully and maintain their vehicle, the incidences like this could be averted. By the time we remove the obstruction, we're going to wash up the place. We use the services of fire service to wash up the place. They are already here. We can also get people to get sand for us. We wash it up, we flush it. Otherwise, it could result in another incident because the road will be slippery.